In this video, we are going to use our newly acquired knowledge of how constraints work to start fiddling with the feed. Namely, we are going to change the resolution of the video. I am in change video size, and where we left off, we were looping through our tracks, and we were checking out their capabilities. If we come over to the browser and I click on change screen size, we can see what those are for our two different tracks. So for the second one, which is our video, we have a height max of 720 and we have a width max of 1280 and they can go down to just <laughs> a single pixel. I mentioned this already, but if we go back over to get capabilities where we finished the last video, it says right here, once you know what the browser's capabilities are, your script can use apply constraints and that is what we are going to do. It is pretty straightforward with one simple caveat. So I'm going to click on apply constraints and all we do is apply constraints against a track. So we scroll down a little bit to look at their example. Constraints here, you will notice, is quite different than... Come back over to Get User Media here. We go down the constraints that we use in the example. This is what's being passed. It is both audio and video. If we come over to Apply Constraints, Constraints here are not audio and video. They are specific to that particular type of track. So this is something that caused me a lot of grief early on trying to get my head around this. But with Get User Media, we hand it constraints. And if we look at our code base, come back over to scripts, we have up at the top here our constraints, audio true, video true. And then scroll down a little bit here to Get User Media. We hand that entire object to Get User Media. When it comes to apply constraints, we are not applying them to get user media. We are applying them to a track. And it's already understood that this is a video track. I don't want to know about audio and don't send me a video property. Just send me the constraints for this particular type of track. So let's come back over to change video size. And right now we have streamed at get tracks and we, we loop through it. We don't want all tracks, we want video tracks, and we'll, we'll fiddle with that in a second, but let's comment this out, and let's do stream.getVideoTracks, open close, dot for each, call the one we're on track, and then inside here, we will write our code. So, track is a video track. We can get its capabilities from get capabilities, which is what we did down below. Or we can apply new constraints with apply constraints. Okay, so what we will do is if we look at our app again here and I open up uh, our video, we've actually got a couple to, to mess with. We can do width and we can do height. They're going to be a little frustrating uh, to work with here because the video tag is always going to try and make things work and it's going to be a little bit smarter uh, than, than we are, at least the JavaScript and everything involved. So sometimes those won't quite do what we want. We, ca we can definitely use them. We're going to change the aspect ratio and we will change the frame rate. So let's set up a new variable. We'll call it V constraints and V constraints is just going to be short for video constraints. And we are going to pass in, let's do a height of a hundred and we'll do a width of a thousand, right? Something really ridiculous to try and make it obvious that this, that this actually worked. And we will do track dot apply constraints and we will hand it our video constraints. Come over and refresh, share, allow, show, I was a little bit fast there. Show, change screen size. We get <laughs> we get this ridiculous thing, a thousand wide by a hundred tall. Uh, these don't do anything yet, so so sit tight on those. Uh, I'm gonna switch this back over to 500 by 500, so it's a little more sane. And I'm gonna set the frame rate equal to five. Five is absurdly low for a frame rate, so it's gonna be so it's gonna be really choppy and pixelated. So show change. Okay, and I'm, I'm waving, that's not your feed, that's my, my terrible frame rate uh, is working. Uh, lastly, we can do aspect ratio, so you can see that. I'll do something absurd like 10. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to comment out a width because if we have both a height and a width, it will override aspect ratio because we've already, we've already said that it's 1. So let's see what this does. Share, allow, show, and change. Um, and it, we're limited by CSS, but you, you get the idea. So I'm going to comment that one out. 
Um, in order to actually finish our app, we're going to create a variable called height. And over in index, we have this this vid width and vid height. Uh, th this is our these are our input boxes. So let's do a document dot query selector. Grab the thing with the ID of vid height. Grab its dot value. We'll copy that. And we'll put in here a width. It'll be exactly the same thing. And we will take the height and apply it here like so. We'll do the same thing with the width. And now these will be dynamic. So if we refresh share allow show I'm gonna do like uh, we'll do 120 by 720 change screen size uh, there we go it it, uh, it did it dynamically now something that should vex you is if I put in here 12,000 and click change screen size it goes back to a normal ratio so what happens why didn't it try and do 12,000 well we did not specify exact and if you don't specify exact then it will just get as close as it can. The, the browser is going to take over and rein in some of your nonsense. So we could do this. We could we could run get capabilities. So I will copy this line 22 here and we'll throw it in like that. We can write a ternary now, but before we do that, let's put an object in here and we'll say exact. So we are going to force the browser. Look, I, I know you want to be helpful, but you do what I say. And we're going to go too far here. <laughs> but I'm going to refresh share, allow, show, we'll put in 12,800, change screen size. Down below here, you see we got an overstrained error. I, I, I tried to do what you told me to do and I couldn't. <laughs> so getting rid of the, the object like we had before, that is pretty much the same as this, as far as I can tell. It's not clearly documented enough because every browser does it a little bit differently. You could put in a ternary where you, you check height to make sure that it's less than capabilities.height.max. And if it is, then go ahead and use height. Otherwise, use whatever the max, the known maximum height is. I've got that backwards. There we go. So th this, this is to say I want you to use this exact width that the user provided so long as it's within capabilities. And then we can do the exact same for the width. I'll, I'll go ahead and paste that in and then overwrite height, 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 and, <laughs> and height. This, this might be useful to you at some point where I will do just that, where I will ask it, uh, please do 12,000 exact. Our ternary kicked in and it did 1280 because that's the, the max for my camera. If I reduce it down to 700, it will give us a square because the yeah the video track is is uh, or the video tag is doing its job all right so play around with these um try try some of them out i can't cover them all and your browser is, is going to be different than mine but that gives you an idea how get capabilities works as well as apply constraints we've got the exact with the min max and ideal go ahead and play around with those and i will see you in the next video